Okay, so, uh, no pressure or anything, but we do perhaps need to now make what is, perhaps, the single biggest decision that we have made. That being, do we ask Oriana where to find the Unseen Elder, this being the course of action that Regis was saying would be the way to basically force Detloff to show up and have it so we can confront him, or alternatively, we take what seems to be more perhaps the peaceful approach by trying to work with Damien to find out where Sienna is being kept, and that way we can bring Sienna to Detloff, hopefully, and uh, find a way to negotiate. <laughs> oh dear. When time the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. Indeed. I think there's actually a um, a similar message in our loading screen for Gwent that says that, but uh, anyways. So it was painfully clear the audience with the Duchess would not be a pleasant one. For Carrollton Regis had failed to establish Detloff's whereabouts, though not for lack of trying. Matters, alas, quickly took an even more tragic turn. When Geralt failed to deliver Sionna to the lover betrayed, he fulfilled his threat to sent and sent down upon Beauclair and its environs a plague of horrid beasts. The Witcher immediately resumed his efforts to find and confront Detloff. So, I was thinking, I was thinking that, uh, so this is, of course, a big decision here, and I think a lot of things that basically the entire outcome of the game from here on out is going to be based on what decision we make here. So I may have mentioned this previously, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to head, go one course of action, and that's going to be our preferred choice, our canon approach, if you will. But uh, we may experiment after everything else is all said and done and see what things are like with the other uh, option as well. Because I think my personal preference is absolutely to try to find Damien, ask him where Sion is being kept, because one thing that just did not sit well with me was the whole, oh hey, here's Sianna. Um, okay, uh, we don't really get the chance to talk to her at all. We don't get the chance to understand why she did what she did. She just uh, gets imprisoned, you don't see or hear from her, and now everything is going crazy in Beauclair. So for that reason alone, I think I very much want to see what we can actually do with Sienna here to try to reach some kind of resolution. And just understand, I mean, she was, in many ways, just the person behind all this. So uh, that is intriguing to me as well. And I, I imagine that uh, if everything goes well, if we go this course of action, then we can hopefully find a way to uh, find peace, keep Sienna alive, keep Detloff alive, and stop all the fighting in Beauclair. Whereas if we go this route, I imagine that the end result is that we're basically trying to summon Detloff so that we can fight and kill him. That is basically why the Duchess wants us to do this. And uh, I think I think I choose peace here, or at least attempt to choose peace. So, in that case, that means we are looking for Damien here. The Night of the Long Thanks. Wait, wait, what is that a reference to? What is that a reference to? Oh, it sounds so familiar. Oh, I don't remember, though. Okay, anyways, let's head over there, though. And, uh, yeah, I don't know to what extent we're gonna run into vampires all over the place, because, uh, you know, there is this whole thing where, uh, Deadloff has kind of set a whole army of vampires on us. So that does make some sense. Probably means that vampire oil is more or less going to be on our sword for the remainder of the game. So let's put a fresh round of that on. And then we have, we still have black blood on us right now, understandably. Uh, just do a quick check here on armors, durability wise, looking okay there. And then weapons. Whoa, what is that? That's our steel sword is really beat up. I mean, not actually necessary this instant, but we should probably still do this. Just in case we do find ourselves fighting some humans soon. So we're looking at like 40% would be the right mix, yeah. So, uh, flutters are kind of nasty. Flutters are kind of nasty. And I don't actually know if our uh, amigos here can die. 
They don't have a life bar, which is our usual metric. <laughs> Kill the, fl the giant vampire. And then as soon as we do that, they just, yeah, just chill. Immediately drop their usual line as if, you know, they didn't just defeat this bloodthirsty creature. Yeah, I imagine we might run into several more of those types of vampires soon. Perhaps not with the assistance of guards. See, it's saying actually down here is the most efficient way. This screams there's an enemy here, right? We were here previously when we were doing the hare hunt. So maybe not. Maybe it's just that one flutter. That would seem a little odd. Yeah. But we can certainly hear some. Anyone down here? Really? The most efficient way is through this place? I guess. If you say so. We took the vampire free path? Darn it! We fought one vampire. Any in here? I mean, I didn't want to avoid the vampires. Any here, maybe? Maybe we go down. Let's just let's go down here a little bit. See if there are perhaps more in this direction, because that did feel like that was, you know, thematically kind of important. I don't know if we'll even go up if we keep on going in what is probably. The opposite direction of what they would have expected. Here we see one up there, I think. So that's something. Uh, where exactly? Here? Oh, Catechin. Okay. Yeah, see, this just feels more like what we're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Even if the Catechin is a bit of a pushover. Yes, it's just a little strange how quickly they transition from combat mode to, oh, everything's fine. But yeah, just in the interest, in the interest of doing this the right way, so to speak. I hear them. Very close by. Yup. Oh, I'm sorry. Another flutter. Are you coming down here or are you just chilling up there? Hey, yeah, they're coming down. They're coming down. So yeah, we, we don't need to do this, just to make this abundantly clear. I know that. But like, we should. You know? This just feels just feels a little bit wrong not to do it, right? Yeah, and then the other thing is that I'm sure at some point we will definitely come across more vampires. Is that actually a vampire that will drop down? Or is that just purely for aesthetic? I don't know. Whoa! Oh, uh, maybe that was that vampire. Not entirely sure. So that, that camera did not do us any favors there. Rude. Oh, we brought friends now. That actually does complicate matters. That actually does complicate matters. Are you, you, you seem bigger than the other one? I don't know. Not a Garcane, though. Just make sure we that flutter is about to land on us. Just want to make sure we are finding so many vampires. How are we doing on the, uh, the oil? Has it already expired, or are we still doing okay? We... Uh... We're, like, halfway through. Might as well reapply. Okay, now immediately dodge. matter? What's the matter, guys? Oh, I was attacking the wrong direction. Hold on. Uh, please return. And don't do that. Uh, also, lead, apparently. Gotcha. Yeah, so we'll probably run into plenty more vampires where those guys came from, but I just feel like, in the interest of trying to absorb the full experience, you know, actually making it feel like we are in a city that is getting attacked by vampires, 
it just wouldn't feel right if we were running around without any vampires actually attacking us, you know? And, uh, definitely, yeah, seeing some remains of some of the other vampire fights that we've not been taking part of. Okay, that's an owl. I think considerably more difficult. Um, let's see. Mostly just really need Yurden. So, like, if you want to stand there, that is fantastic. Blood for a few feet around. A lot of it. Okay. What about that, though? Oh, hello, Al. Yurden has expired. I would love to change that right about now. Like, preferably before you absolutely annihilate us. I do your shout? No? I thought you were. But you're down. Actually, not that bad that time. Okay. So. I just feel like we should probably keep this drawn. Have we ever tried going in here? Maybe, but it is locked. Now, this bridge would be a really dramatic place to have an awesome boss fight. I don't know if we will, but I feel like this would be just the best place to have a bunch of these vampires drop down. Will it happen? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it. Except, hold on. Here are the Garcanes. Waiting for them to start showing up. But you, how dare you? How dare you? I don't remember what that is. He just like tried to brain blast me, which was not cool. Also, that bleed might just kill you. He didn't even touch me. Okay, so I think we're close to Damien here. We are. And let's see. So that would be. We were going to Oriana, but we are not going to do that. I just want to make sure that we aren't going to accidentally go to the other person. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, that's the other thing. He's quite dramatic when you take down the Alps and Bruxa the way they do their dramatic... <coughs> Geralt, how could you? <coughs> and they don't even let you loot them until they're done doing all that. So like, no, we're going to make you watch this. I am curious to see if there's anything else down here. I mean, I'm guessing this is basically just a way to force us from going that direction. And probably the same thing here. Yeah. I doubt we can, but let's see if we can hard that stuff out of the way. We actually, we actually can. Huh. I did not expect us to be able to do that. Uh, this would potentially be a way to you know, get ourselves a bit more of a shortcut here. I'm not really sure we even needed a shortcut to do that. This is actually more so through the back roads. Yeah, I'm I'm a little curious to see what we might be able to do if we were to go a little bit off the beaten path there, but uh, probably not something we were supposed to do. Just, just out of curiosity, can we do it here as well? Is that also an option? Nah, I'm pretty sure we would just get roasted. Yeah, we'll miss everything if we go around as well. So, I don't think it's a good idea, but it's just interesting to see that it's theoretically something that might actually be possible. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of dead people. So, not only are we seeing the vampires, they're definitely doing a lot of damage here. So, Deadlock, ow. Definitely follow through on his threat. That, he's gonna. Yep. Ow. Possibly both, or just that little girl actually just a little girl? You're a Bruxa. That previous one in Elf, the one we fought before? I think it was. I don't remember if uh, we fought a Bruxa first. I don't actually remember which one is technically supposed to be stronger. At least stop blocking us. I know we're supposed to use the, the uh, Yurden. Oh, and I didn't even run away. Rude. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, again with the, the whole dramatic death. Hold on, she's got to roll two or three more times, and then we can lose. Then they'll make some kind of, like, sad whimpering sounds, make you feel guilty for a second. Hey, what's up, townswoman? Am I mad? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is our spot. I feel like we should save now. We've got this circle here. I'm guessing we might need to, uh, you know, fend off a wave of waves of vampires with Damien. Or something like that. That's a big flutter. Are they all humongous? Are they not? Actually, I'm curious here. There's <laughs> a lot of quest updates that just say, kill the vampire. We had this one, which was from the first vampire that was actually up where the Duchess was, or in and around that area, the Bruxa. Then, okay, so this is, I mean, it's just replaced the whole go see Damien thing. Is Damien dead? I don't know. Don't know if this flutter has, like, killed Damien. It's theoretically possible, I suppose. We're supposed to meet him here. I was kind of hoping for a dramatic... Oh? Kind of hoping for a dramatic, you know, fight off wave after wave of enemies with Damien and, like, the whole, ah, you know, we didn't really like each other before, but, uh, realize we can overcome our differences, and in the end, we're trying to fight the same fight. The old self didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. Okay, that's the case with all those guys. There's definitely a trail of blood over there. So let's see what, if anything else, there might be in this area before we head over there. Is this just a locked door? Okay. And that's not the place we we're supposed to go. So in that case, I think it is basically just this year. Formation ran. Okay. Just make sure we didn't say I mean, we shouldn't be saving over anything, because I'm always just saving an empty slot. That shouldn't be the case. Yeah, so it's saying that this is Damien's unit. That would suggest that there's at least some remains of said unit. Obviously, bleeding. Oh, dear. Uh, see, the thing is, we have signs to put you on fire, but we don't have signs to put out that fire. So I regret to inform you, uh, we don't exactly have an answer for you here. Huh? The circle is back. Okay, well, I mean, I just wasn't using our witcher senses. There's definitely stuff going on over there. There's definitely blood trail leading over there, but uh, the thing we're actually trying to do seems to be over here. Barricade put up in the street. Okay, uh, this is this is true. Barricade put up in the street. Usually that gets uh, turned yellow when we're done examining it. Oh, we can R, can't we? Put out a fire. I mean, just ignore the fact that that is exactly the opposite of how you would actually put out fires in real life, because you know oxygen actually feeds fire. But, uh... But leaves, you blow candles on your birthday, do you not? Okay, fair enough. Uh, excuse me, you were supposed to wait until after we... After we yearned? So rude. So rude. So unbelievably rude. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. I, I don't like the way that you're doing that. The amount that I don't like that you're doing that is quite high. In fact, we are so hurt right now that I think we actually need to make sure that we have one of our leeching uh, decoctions on. Is it this one? Yeah, damage dealt to foes, returns vitality. Uh, we should do that, like, right now. That was actually Black Blood that we activated, so, but uh, giving ourselves enough time here doing okay from a life standpoint. Okay, that was me, though. Okay, please stop blocking. You're in the urn. It is officially disallowed to block while you're inside the urn. That's the purpose of the urn, is to prevent you from blocking in the first place. So, like, seriously? Okay, 
This is actually... This is pretty tough, fighting two simultaneously. I'm not sure if I've ever done this before. Two Alp slash Bruxa simultaneously. Definitely done numerous of the uh, Garpanes and Fletters at the same time before. That's a little bit different. They're big, they hit hard, but they aren't nearly as mechanically complex as the Alps and Bruxae are. Gonna teleport onto us, or Black Blood will just kill you as soon as you head over here? Yes. But yeah, the whole the comments about the Igni was more referenced how we have Igni, we don't have a uh, fire hose sign. Okay. Uh, do we have anything else? See it well. This person. That feels a little bit mm, not in good taste, but. Yeah, this is where the tracks are leading us. There are, in fact, more bodies. Actually, is it this direction? Or, yeah, this is the way we came from. He fell on his face, struck in the back, tried to run. Okay. Still got this guy to loot, too. Lots of dead people. But I think that's just about all of them. Um. I know vampires can do magic. Sort of. I know vampires are gruesome murderers, but, uh, at least on this occasion. That, uh, that I didn't know they could do, though. Is this technically the right direction? Actually, not sure it is. Hold on. I think we're technically supposed to go, yeah, this way. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, we've seen that on a few occasions, us just getting attacked by a swarm of bats. This looks like Fletter, potentially Garcane. Must be in the bank, barricaded themselves inside. Sorry, we got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. Ain't no flutter gonna stop us. And there they are. You killed it single-handedly. That harlot's brute slaughtered half my unit. Yeah, we fought like five of them. Close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw you and your men now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. Time for a nice and uplifting pet talk here. Hey guys! Witcher says we don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out doing the right thing now listen close silver that's what you want to use against vampires your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can churn it out in gallons then coat your blades with it keep an eye out for alps and bruxae the shapely ones resemble women they're one moment gone the next bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. Oh, really? And Talking about our pay now? With the head of the Is that really the most important thing? Skewered on a hook. Uh. Mmm. See, the thing is, we've kind of got a different plan. Kind of thinking we might be able to resolve all this stuff peacefully. Or at least as peacefully as one can resolve it at this stage. Obviously, the city is currently at war. But yeah, also with the Ard side, there was that, what, that other time back in Novigrad where there was that person who was on the burning uh, fire, basically. And yeah, I didn't realize at that time that we could have arded. That was about 
probably six months ago, so I can't exactly say that I remembered that. <laughs> Sorry, other flaming person that we theoretically, theoretically could have saved. Uh, but yeah, we got a different plan here. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Siana. That. You know the Duchess's decision. Siana awaits her trial in custody. Yeah, I know it. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Uh, yeah, so we need to push here and make sure that it is very clear to Damien that we we are insisting that we go after Siana. Otherwise, it's not it's not gonna work. And yeah, I mean basically the whole idea is that people are dying, and as we were just telling them. Your men don't really stand a chance against these vampires if you try to fight them face to face. So, uh, yeah. We should try to sort this whole thing out. No use, no good, hiding Siana and having hundreds, if not thousands, of people die because of it. Only one way to Folk fix this. Are dying. Many more will because of one. If Her Grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And mine will come right after. Still willing to take the risk. See, I'm wasting my time here. Wait. Oh. When. When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Play what? As in for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So, yes, I am damn sure. Playroom. So what, Duchess Loxiana up in a dollhouse? That does sound kind of silly. I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. You trace my steps. Path ought to be clear. You know, just ignoring the whole fact that vampires can fly and move and stuff so they can very well go back to the place where we just were. Got a signal. Just join me. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm actually interested that even at this stage, it is saying that we could theoretically go and ask Oriana for help. Uh, it feels like we've gotten pretty far down this path already, and I would have thought we would have passed that point of no return. Uh, obviously, we will continue going down that path, but I just looked over at the quest and saw that it still said we could. Try talking to Oriana, and maybe it says that, but in truth, it doesn't actually work at this stage. But let's see, so we need to talk to the birds to inform Regis where he should meet us. And, uh, well, there are birds all around us. Tell Regis to meet me in the palace. We need to get to the playroom. Okay. So now we just meet him at the palace, I guess, and we should make sure that we have the right one active here. It's gonna be, yeah. He reaches at the palace there and make sure that this is directing us over there and not back towards Siana, otherwise, or rather not back toward uh, Oriana. Otherwise we will in fact end up doing the thing that I was just saying we probably didn't want to try to do. And uh, we can. Apparently, we can just kind of chill with the soldiers and Damien because they're going the same way, which is kind of cool. I was wondering if we would actually be able to see where they were headed. And if we do actually appear to be going the same way. And like I said, I was interested to see if anything was going to happen on this bridge. And uh, this would be, again, a dramatic time for that to happen. I think I see two of the Invisa Brooks uh, slash Alps over there, maybe? No, I think that's just the the way the light is bouncing off of those little waterfalls there. For a second, I thought that was sort of the semi-see-through Bruxa. Okay, so yeah, it says this direction. And we did, of course, fight some vampires on our way up here previously, when we literally went out of the way in order to do that. Don't know if, now that we're basically retracing our steps here, if it's going to happen again, or if we've basically fought them once, so now they're not going to appear. Also, is, uh, is Damien still coming, or is he just chilling there? Now they're just taking their posts, I guess? That Damien is standing right there? Oh no, it's a random guard. Oh well. We're just all casually strolling around to safety. 
You know, I thought they said they were actually going back to the barracks, but the barracks is definitely not outside, right in the open like that, where they could easily get slaughtered by more vampires, like, you know, all these other people that we see right here. And yeah, at least at the moment, not running into any additional vampires does make you wonder if there may not be any more along the way here, or at least very few along the way here, because we've already fought most of them. But I don't think we went this far up. So we might start running into more here. Could it potentially just fast travel? I don't even know if it would have let us, but there is fast travel spot right here. Okay, yeah, no, this is where we were previously. Right? And there is Regis. Okay. I feel like this is another time when we should probably save. Kind of you to summon me. I thank you for part of it. Beyond the doors, the playroom. I found one of my brethren sniffing about. I made sure he'd stay out of our way. Yeah. That's uh does make things kinda awkward. I suggest doesn't it? Yeah, you know you're probably not wrong. Okay. Uh oh, what about this? Probably meant to stand guard, but honor Henrietta's personal request. Yeah, see that's kind of the whole thing. The Duchess's decision here is that uh, we were talking about it a bit before but um you know trying to protect her sister has led to at least hundreds if not thousands of lives lost and uh that just isn't really isn't really a good thing to do you know family is one thing but abandoning all of your responsibilities as the leader of this city this uh duchy that's an entirely different thing. Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with this door. Do you mind? Not at all. Clever tricks. Awfully convenient. Thanks, Regis. <laughs> Alright, no need to rub it in. Okay. Mm. Utter silence. Should look around at least. Definitely. And I saw this Something big glow. Inside. Nope. Empty. I can. He says it's silent. It is not. I can hear this faint sort of music box like sound, which is creepy in a really good way. I like it. I like the ambiance it gives. That sort of distance. Yeah, well, we can hear it. Should get louder. I imagine we're heading in that direction. Alright, it is a playroom, so it does make sense. Ballads and hymns. No, we, we definitely read that before. A rocking horse. Rather worn. I suppose it got a lot of use. Just heard. Music box. Yeah, it's over there. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff to examine here. Regis is just generally way too cool. This is true. So one thing I don't know is if there's technically like a a quote-unquote correct thing to examine here. There probably is. My uh, my concern about that would be like, will we miss out on a bunch of stuff if we accidentally do the, the right thing first? That would kind of sink. But I'm hoping that's not the case and that we can just examine everything because this could be some interesting stuff. I'm thinking it's going to end up being the music box, because that's the thing that has the most sort of presence in this room. It uh, has the music that's drawing us to it, but maybe not. Leave the painting for last? Okay. That good, because I was about to do the painting first. <laughs> the tin knight. That's exactly why I said that. Exactly why I said that, just in case. I mean, if it's just like a one sentence observation, nothing special, then maybe it's not a huge deal. Under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. <laughs> Mirrors, no? What about this? Duck. Somebody broke its wings off. No comment about that? A little tea party. Miniature tableware and plush toys. Cute. Even Geralt admits it. Oh, that's loot. 
to say, I was surprised that wasn't red. Locked. Mm. So is that? Okay. What about what do we have here? Oh, this looks important. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort. Who's that? Governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Okay, let's see. Siana gave me a drawing. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Oh, not so charming. Oh, not so much. <laughs> I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly, girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. Hmm. That is interesting to hear, because we heard some people talking about, you know, sort of discrediting the curse, implying that maybe it wasn't a real thing, maybe it was just this perception, this, uh, this effect of, you know, you just, you think you have the curse, so, uh, so it ends up happening, or, you know, you, you sort of, your mind makes it real, a placebo, if you will. Uh, yeah, but what else? The girls quarreled today, okay. The it seemed like, for the most today. part, they were pretty close. I must note rather sadly, they did not behave as befits future ladies. Other than the, the whole devolved into resentment about Anna Henrietta Anna eventually Henrietta becoming the Duchess. Was first to strike her sister. Oh. Sienna gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Henrietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to really? complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Oh. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed the reputation. That is true. So yeah, that was, I think a lot of what we heard was that it was in many ways the parents who were pushing this whole Curse of the Black Sun thing and may have sort of even if it wasn't initially going to be such a, a big deal, it may not actually have been real at all, but they almost made it real by the way that they treated her. And the way that they they exiled her when perhaps they shouldn't, maybe they didn't even need to. Maybe she wasn't actually cursed and so it wouldn't have mattered. But uh, it was kind of a, it seems like it's in many ways sort of like a self-fulfilling prophecy of, you know, if you treat someone like they're the black sheep, you treat them like they're this cursed individual, then, I mean, good things are not going to happen. They visited the land of a thousand fables for the first time. Okay. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. Huh? First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charm for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudularis, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. <laughs> I tip my cat We're to reading. Master Artorius Come on, Figo Regis. for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting <laughs> or I'll seat you in the corner. It's story time, Regis. This is important. I wish to visit alone. I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation Expecto Ludum. Expecto Ludum is the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Okay. Very interesting indeed. I do also like how. All of these options are sort of pointing us toward one specific object in the room. And so we sort of had the metaphorical teddy bears functioning as Anna, or Anna, and Siana during their fight. And then we saw that picture as the source of, or the, the explanation for, or the, the visualization for their, their fantasy world. 
His grace and the Duke expressed concern for his daughters. Seems like mostly they were very concerned about Sienna being an evil, cursed child. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Sienna. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. Right. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Okay. Their milf guardian is dreadful, and they refuse to study. It is... It is kind of strange. That is one thing that I noticed was that, I mean, we're... We're in Nilfgaard, but many times it feels as though people have made references to Nilfgaard as if that is somewhere else. You know, this is a duchy of Nilfgaard and is sort of on the edge of the Nilfgaardian Empire and perhaps for those reasons is in some ways sort of its own little world that functions outside of Nilfgaard in many ways, but you would think that people would speak Nilfgaardian as their first language at the very least, or at least it would be quite common for people to be speaking Nilfgaardian when that basically never happens. Obviously from a plot standpoint, like, Geralt, I don't think, speaks Nilfgaardian, so it would not make a lot of sense for us to not be able to understand things that people are saying, but that could have been a way to make it just feel a little bit more immersive, a little bit more realistic for us to actually be in Nilfgaard, especially after having so much talk about Nilfgaard throughout the, the uh, base game. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Sienna applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Sienna laughed so hard they almost choked. <laughs> Bluda is damned or cursed. What's cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non too friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Oh. Okay, uh, that appears to be everything here. Definitely glad we got the chance to check out this book. This might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Sienna into that illusion. Oh! She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. That was a little bit startling. How, uh... As soon as we exited that cutscene, it immediately played the music box somewhat loudly at that, but I would like to check that out. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. Okay. So at this rate, I think the only things we have left, the only thing, singular, is that painting. And Garrett was talking about how we're going to need the book to actually activate that. I mean, we, we did pick up that book, did we not? So I think we're good to go here. Free just does have a way with words. That was a, a very clever way of talking around that thing. 